your what is going on everybody it is your boy underdog flag k clutch a 24 7 we are here back with some more mud gameplay you guys have seen the offense right now and you guys seen defense right now we did change up the team a lot got rid of some players and then got some back and you guys can see this nolan cromwell who we gonna be showing off today you know try and see this is money well spent as we are playing in our Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys like this, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like, comment down below some other stuff you guys would like to see here on the channel, and subscribe if you guys are new. And in the state of how Madden is going right now, where are you guys at? Let me know in the comments down below. Best comment will be featured in the next video. And this is ways of giving back to the viewers, giving great content, making sure they're interactive you know things of that nature so let's go ahead and head into the game first and ten you guys can see we're going up against the spinners of them all and uh trying to see if we can get something going as antonio gibson the brand new pickup doing his thing now we did get rid of him for demarco murray but we know we still got demarco murray in the backfield um right here couldn't uh roll out the way that i wanted to i mean i shouldn't have had to roll out but I made myself roll out anyway as we throw a laser to Michael Crabtree. The only guy that was still left from the team that we had before. First and 10, here we go once again. I tried to make something happen, but we did not get the catch over there on that side. Second and 10 as he's still sending it. We're going to throw it to Dave Casper. The nice little Aggie egg, you feel what I'm saying? Now, with my offense, I do use two tight ends as we go back to Casper once again, but he doesn't come down with that again second and go he goes to the running back so we're gonna go ahead if we can't get to casper we go to iron mike dick a baby now i'm a nice person as you guys can see i'm a very nice person i actually declined it you know what i'm saying but it doesn't matter he's still gonna be a sweaty sweat you see dick dick is going in a hole it's it's, it's I, I don't get it man I, every time i try and be nice something crazy happens so he throws over here to crabtree he was in tight offset uh tight end for most of the game but I did have a little defense that I had to represent to go up against this offense. As you guys can see in the shorts. Oh, he had a laser over there on the right side. But Chase Young gets back there. Um, second and 10, he goes out there to Herman Moore. Uh, definitely doing things. Uh, I was kind of in the same uh, defense as this. But as he moved over with this, I didn't uh, move him over to... Um, get manned up to DeMarco and DeMarco goes in for the touchdown I have to let him go in um terrible tackling by my part I sit here and try and get a block but I get hit and that man Derek Johnson just catches it out of nowhere and now that's a whole swing as he scores 14 unanswered and we trying to make something happen but this is like one of the uh, worst things it's overstorm and spinner it's the two most hellacious defenses in the game and you have to learn how to go up against it and see if you can thrive. Right here, I do the one thing that I hate doing when I put this route on the field. And that is lob a corner route. I always do it. And I hate that I always do it. But we throw the ag to Iron Mike and get that first down on 4th and 6. Um, we are sitting here in a different offense. As you guys can see, you guys are used to me being in the Lions offense when the trips tied in. But I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead over here to the Broncos offense and see if we can do something things here. And the trips, uh, what you call the trips, uh, offset has actually been doing works. As you guys can see right here, I hit him with the C route once again. I actually free form it, bullet it this time, and you guys see it is in there for the touchdown on fourth down once again. As you guys can see. See here, I peel off underneath. He throws it right in between three people. Kind of a crazy laze, but a laze is a laze no matter what. Now, that man Gilmore was getting tested over there on that side. Now, if I would have like realized it and started seven people over, like you guys can see the right side of the field, that streak is wide open. I'm sitting here doing different things on defense, trying to make sure some things work, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but then right here on the outside, that man, Bruce E. Bruce. 4th and 14, gotta make a play happen as I'm using Cordell Patterson. The left side of the field is wide open for Herman Moore to get the first down. Didn't even think about putting the yellow down there because I ain't think about it in time. And then as soon as I go to the right, he goes to the left. As soon as I go to the left, he goes right to the right. So I said, freak it. We're going to man both of them up and then I'm going to use something different. And I don't get my pick there. That is like the second time after that pick that I had that I didn't even get a pick. Chase Young trying to get free out there, and then Stephon Gilmore doesn't get the catch. We need that catch right there. And then I think I would have been fine if I would have stayed in man, but I actually go into the zone, and he actually hits it right up the seams for a touchdown. So now it's 21-14 going into the half. I'm using Cromwell. 
see what we can do on that side and that's a bag other than see rather on the other side I'm pretty sure so I go in and put a purple out there to see if that works it kind of matches over there and then he loves throwing that route over there to crab tree on the side and it's been pretty effective first and ten I try to use that post on the other side and look who's getting there back there again Brucey Bruce you know what I'm saying second and 18 trying to make something happen once again Gilmore Gilmore is getting tested on that side I need Gilmore to come down with that once and then we're going to the crib we going to the BB we gonna celebrate you feel me third and 18 we get you literally to the crib for a touchdown game changer but now oh, I get caught up he sits here and changes something different. I wanted to go and change it up. He, he did a motion. He he motions Matt late into the play clock, which kind of messed it up for me a little bit. So I kind of tried to get a little bit of Justy and have to do it real late. But because I see that late, that's why he does it with like literally two seconds up the clock. You guys can see every single play that we pick, it's down to three, down to two. So when he does that late second adjustment, it's literally like last, like last thing that we have to do. So it was definitely effective at that point. Here's the goal. It's no easy. Come on. Come on. Adjust. Adjust. Come on. One, one score. I just need one. I just need one. Crazy adjustments. Crazy adjustments. I just need one. First and ten. Trying to get it towards the middle of the field. We couldn't get anything going. I tried to quick snap it so he wouldn't get anything, but literally he gets B gaps, A gaps, C gaps, the gap. He's getting literally everything with this blitz. We finally pick it up here. We go and throw a back shoulder over to Michael Crabtree, and Crabtree is off to the races. 15, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, tie, ball game. I'm telling y'all, man, we, were, we was trying our hardest to try and make some things work man, here on defense. Here we go. Once again, out here in the bunch. I feel like this defense is really, really good versus the bunch. Let's even put the hook curl down there. And then once again, we coming out here with the defense. I'm working everything on that right side. And then the yellow comes and plays it. It's Woolen. Woolen. Cuz makes the play. Yep, some must of my haters game here. Come on, man. Just just come on. There's nothing to say. Just, just, just come on. I got nothing else to say. Just one stop. One stop. Crazy, just crazy adjust. Come on, crazy adjust. First and ten, back on defense. Gotta make a play, and we were, we were sitting here locking up, man. The cover four definitely has been working. Um, you guys can see two straight throwaways doing the same thing. Then we kind of switch it up here, I believe. And once again, he goes over to that right side, and he doesn't get it. But here on fourth and ten. Look at me being stupid. Putting two hurt curls and then two outsides. So literally everything to the outside was covered, but nothing in the middle of the field. He exploits it. I realized it as soon as he threw the ball up. And I was like, you know what? All I had to do was just put one of them up there and it would, even, and it would be better. Defense would have had that happen. And then you, it's just all a learning experience. So first and five after that, we have a nice little lays over here to Michael Crabtree. Thought we could get sticky right there, but the uh, stiff arm animation went to a different way. We go motion them over once again to see if we can get anything. We don't have that. We throw it deep, but Cromwell makes a play for him. I thought we had a step on him, but then 91 speed. You cannot teach 91 speed, man. But when we get back on defense, we got to answer. Hey, talk to him. Pick Cromwell right back, baby. Come on. Cromwell, right back, baby. Come on. Come on, Cromwell. We paid 600 and 50 k for you. Fight. Fight for me, Crom. Fight for me, Crom. Come on. Now back on offense, we motion back over to that single back wing flex close. Antonio Gibson gets into the end zone to get y'all fantasy owners that touchdown y'all know y'all deserve. And then back here on defense, we just got to lock up. Here we are once again. The only route that I had to use her, I don't stay on it. Megatron gets down the field and gets him into the nice range. First and 10, we sitting here trying to do it once again. I use her this time. Woolen, we would have had a pick with Woolen. That would have been his second, I think, maybe third. I think most likely his second. Couldn't get there. And then he tries to throw it again. Gartner, low key, bro. 
Justin Fields and Sauce Gardner is like one of the best budget corners to have in the game. But then once again, Gilmore is getting tested on that side and it is so crazy. Look at this defense adjustments that we have here. We have everybody manned up. I'm using our woolen. Everything that's on that right side is like the streak. Like literally that adjustment right there, if we would have done it with the other 4 from 10, that would have been an even better play here on that side. Now I'm sitting here. I got this all on that side. Boom. It's all back. Glad he did. Justin Fields didn't pick that off. We get the field position here at the 43 yard line. Mindset here. Just go here and see if we can run the ball. Um, he spreads his line out very, very well. And then gets that shed. But then once again, I'm coming out in it once again. But I'm not coming out. He spreads it out real prematurely. So what I do is now go ahead and highball it right to that man, Iron Mike Dicka. And that would be your ball game. We end up winning our Super Bowl. But you guys know EA is not giving up a trophy pack. But I know it was really good content. Ryan Fitzmagic doing his thing. If you guys like it, make sure you guys leave a like. Comment down below so I'll see if you guys like to see. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.